In this short tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to restore deleted items to your OneDrive library. Now, I'm going to use the free version of OneDrive. This is OneDrive for personal use, and it is usually accessed via a free Outlook, Hotmail, or Live email account. So if you've got one of those accounts, you'll be able to use OneDrive. Now, if you are a OneDrive for business user, maybe it's provided by your school, your college, university, or your employer, the process is still the same. So you'll still be able to follow along with this particular tutorial. Now, I have a separate video showing you how to delete your files and folders within OneDrive, and I'll link to that in the description below and the card above. But in this video, we're going to take a look at how to restore items that you may have already deleted. So let's say we deleted some files and folders a little while ago, and we have now realized we need to bring them back into our library. Well, what we'll do is we'll go to Recycle Bin on the left-hand side, and this shows us all of the files that we deleted, and it also shows us the date that we deleted them on, and the original location where those files or folders could be found. Now, you'll notice where it says date deleted, it doesn't have the actual date listed here because I've just deleted them today and that's why we only have a time. But if we deleted them several weeks ago, we would have the date that they were deleted listed there alongside the time. Now, in this particular example, what I want to do is I want to bring back this screenshot here. So if I click on it, you can see it allows me to use the restore option at the top. I can also right click and choose restore or go to the show actions option and choose restore from here. So there are three different ways that I can restore this file. Now this file was located in the 2023 folder. So once I restore it, that's exactly where it should go. If I've decided I actually want to restore two items at the same time, then rather than right clicking on one, choosing restore, going to the next one, right click restore, I'm going to just check both of these using the check options on the left hand side. Now, if you want to select everything, you can use the select option at the top next to name, and that will select all of the objects. And then you could just deselect the one or the multiple files or folders you don't actually wish to bring back. Once you have checked these options that you want to bring back or the files you want to bring back, you then use restore. So in this case, let's just start off by doing this one file. So we're going to right click, and choose restore. It will then take it out of the recycle bin. And if I go back to my files, then go into the 2023 folder, the file should appear here. However, it hasn't. And that's because I need to give a quick refresh and then you will see the file is now here. So if you have deleted files, they remain in the recycle bin and you can bring them back in if you need to. Now it's important to note that Microsoft will only keep your files or folders for a maximum of 93 days within the recycle bin. Beyond this time, they will be fully deleted from your account and the likelihood is, even if you go to Microsoft, you'll probably not be able to get those back. So they'll live there for 93 days and then they'll automatically be deleted. Now let's say, for example, we wish to bring back these two files and folders here. This is a folder containing multiple files. It will bring back the folder and all of the files that live within it. So let's check both of these and let's click restore. So we're going to be looking for the sample PDF inside a folder called sample documents PDFs and 2022 will be at the root level because it tells me it's OneDrive here and we'll be able to see that one easily. So let's go restore. Let's go back to my files and let's open up sample documents and PDFs. And there is the file there that we just deleted earlier and then restored. So we've got that back in this folder. If I go back to my files and scroll down, here is the 2022 folder and within it, any folders or subfolders or files that were deleted will now be brought back. So if you're wanting to learn more about deleting your files and folders, check out the other video, which is in the description below. But if you are looking just to bring files back, make sure they only stay in your recycle bin for a maximum of 93 days, or you may find they will be permanently deleted. 
Hopefully you have found this video to be useful. If you have, make sure you hit that like button below. Feel free to drop any comments that you have about this video or about the process involved in the comments area below and I'll try my best to help you out as soon as I can. And of course, if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so already, please do consider hitting that subscribe button to show your support. Now, if you want to take your OneDrive learning a little bit further, why not check out these other OneDrive tutorials here?